What if I told you that one simple fix could bring your struggling plants back to life? If your plants look weak, pale, or aren't growing right, they might be missing crucial nutrients. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to diagnose and correct the five most common nutrient deficiencies. First up, nitrogen deficiency. If your plant's leaves are turning yellow, especially the older ones at the bottom, and the growth seems slow, your plants might be lacking nitrogen. To fix this, apply a nitrogen-rich fertilizer like fish emulsion or blood meal to boost fast growth. This will have your plants bouncing back in no time. Next is phosphorus deficiency. If you see stunted growth and purple or reddish discoloration on the leaves, your plant is lacking phosphorus. The solution? Mix bone meal in the soil near the roots for an easy phosphorus boost. For the best nutrient absorption, compost your soil thoroughly to keep the pH low. Potassium deficiency is another common issue. If the edges of leaves turn brown or yellow and start curling, this could be the problem. To fix this, apply a potash fertilizer like langbanite along the roots. Just like bananas help with muscle cramps, they can also boost potassium in your soil when mixed in. Ever seen the area between the leaf's veins turning yellow while the veins stay green? That's a classic sign of magnesium deficiency. A quick fix is dissolving one tablespoon of Epsom salt in a gallon of water and applying it as a foliar spray, but just don't grab the one from your lavender scent bath bomb. Finally, iron deficiency. If new leaves turn yellow but the veins stay dark green, your plants need more iron. Use iron chelates or iron sulfate to correct this. Just like with phosphorus deficiency, keep your soil well composted to maintain a lower pH and improve nutrient uptake. And there you have it. By identifying these common deficiencies early and using the right fixes, you can keep your plants thriving. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more gardening tips, and drop a comment below with your plant care questions. And as always, happy growing!